Hello and welcome to this SQL tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to look at applying the SQL rank function to calculate a rank per row within the partition of a results set. So basically management want us to rank our products according to their unit price and they also want us to do this based on unit price and the specific company ID. So you can see in the results set here I've just got products, a product name, a unit price and a category ID from our basic first initial query. So we haven't organized this at all, that's just the associated category ID and you can see products fall into different categories. So let's look at how we can display ranking by unit price. A few things to note here, I am using the available Northwind database. You can get this from the GitHub SQL Server samples. Uh, so you can follow along with me and um, you can follow along the code here and I'll explain what's happening as we work through the examples. Initially, we're just going to query the columns product ID, product name and unit price. And we're going to rank these over and then we want to say order by the unit price and descending values, so highest to lowest. Now what you will notice in this initial example, we're actually skipping the partition clause. So SQL is treating this query and um, all the results are just part of a, a main results partition. And so we're able to actually just rank everything from highest to lowest and descending value as you see every product that we have. So you can see from the highest price, 263.50 being the highest down to the lowest, 250 um, at 77. So we can do it that way. But we did say, um, as we look into the more in-depth side of this, we can actually display ranking by unit price within our category ID that we initially looked at. So this is a real world case where obviously uh, let's say a regional manager departmentally wants to look at performance or figures. Well, we can do that by using the ranking and using partitions. So you can see here the main difference is that we're actually now ranking over our partition, which is going to be category ID, and we're still going to order by unit price. Now, we can add a, a, a naming here for the columns so that can be price ranking again, um, and we're going to say from products and again we'll add an alias here that can just be r but you'll notice here we're going to use the where clause to say where the price ranking and this can be any number you define depending on the complexity of your data set the the detail or what people have asked for and i'll say the where the price ranking is less than or equal to five now again we'll look at extending this after but you can see now within our category id we we do get a ranking there now as it's we're using rank and not dense rank it will tie numbers and then skip on to the next. So it could be one, two, three, four, 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 and then it's going to skip on to seven, for example. So we'll, we'll look at how we get around that soon. So to break down how SQL actually computes this, first the partition by clause divides the products into partitions by the category ID. Then the order by clause sorts products in each partition by our unit prices. Then the outer query returns the products whose let rank values are less than or equal to whatever we specify. So that could be three, five, 10, whatever. As I said, we can copy and paste this rank over chunk of code and create a new column to look at how dense rank differs. So you'll see here in the initial price ranking with the rank function, we got one, two, three, four, 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 eight. But you see in dense ranking, it defaults to the next available number, five, despite the number of ties, whereas price ranking is going to calculate those ties almost as a new individual number. So if you want dense ranking where you continue to flow along the line of sort of um, established numbers, you can use that. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.